Hi guys. Okay, in this video, what I'm going to do is create a quadratic function from a basketball video that I've already taken. So first thing I'm going to do is open Logger Pro demo that I've just downloaded here for free. Um, and here we have it. Now, this is what this is what you get when you open Logger Pro. First thing I'm going to do is these these little windows here, I can actually just move them around a bit, make them smaller, make them fit. And I'm going to import my video. Now, the way I do that is I'm pressing insert at the top. And I'm going to do insert movie. Now I have already made my movie. I've put it in here. Press open. This is the movie of me taking a basketball shot. Now when it opens, note that Look, I'm taking the, well, I'm not taking the video, but someone is taking the video from the side so they can see, look, it's all kind of uh, in line. My feet with the basket, it's it's to the side. There's, it's not at a strange angle or from above or anything. It's directly in line with, um, with me and the basket. Okay, next thing to note is I didn't actually score my first shot, or at least I didn't score the way I wanted to. I wanted it to go right in the basket. I think this is the one where I score. So I wanted it to go straight in like a without hitting the rim. Now this moves the frames back and forth. So if I move the frame to I think let's say there, this one, right? That's right where I'm gonna start my projectile if you like. Okay, so this is how Logger Pro works. If I click this here I get a number of buttons here on the right that I can use. The first thing I want to do is scale all of this. So you'll notice I've put down this foam roller, which I know is exactly 90 centimeters. So you need something. Look, I, I was trying to find a measuring tape. I just didn't have one. But you need something that you know where you know exactly what length it is. So I know this is 90 centimeters. So if I click this ruler and then I just go from the left to the right, and click, it says, well, what distance is this foam roller, Mr. Flynn? And I said 0 0.9 meters. And now everything is going to be scaled. So if that's 0 0.9 meters, this is, I don't know, 1.4 meters or whatever it happens to be. Also note, obviously, I'm using like a child's basketball net. If you use a proper one, things will be different, but, but fine. You're not going to get the same function as me. Okay, next thing I want to do is get a set of axes. So this thing here, this button, if I click there, this is like my y-axis and my x-axis, and this is the origin. Now, I want my origin to be right where my feet are, and I want it to be in line with the bottom of the net, so like this. But I also think I want the basketball to be right on the y-axis, like that. Okay, I think that looks, I think that looks pretty good there. Okay, nice. Next thing, this little feature here, this little button is great. I'm going to click this right in the center. And then when I click it, it moves to the next frame. So I'm going to click it again. And each time I'm going to make sure I get exactly in the middle. Take your time. Um, I'm actually going to do it more quickly than I would expect you to do it. Just because I, I'm obviously recording a video. So each time you do it, it moves along. Now feel free to fast forward this video for like 30 seconds because it's going to take me a minute, well, half a minute. Okay, done. Okay, so that is my quadratic. That's my shot. Perfect, right into the basket. Now, 
down here I have my points and down here let me make this a little bit bigger okay so here I have look this is my blue quadratic this is my x distance which makes sense that it's a straight line because it's just going right then right then right then right then right then right then right the y one's going up a bit up a bit up a bit and then once it gets here it starts to come down so that's why it's got this kind of parabolic shape um so i don't want i don't care about that red one i just want the y one so if i click here i'm going to click y and if i click here okay so the at the moment the x-axis is in seconds you could do it in seconds Although look, it's at 68 seconds because my video is at 68 seconds. So if you do, if you are doing it in time, I suggest you clip your video so that it starts at zero seconds. Um, or you can probably alter this a bit. But I actually want to start at, sorry, I'm going to click, click X because I just want it in meters. Okay, so now I have X meters and Y meters. Next thing, I'm going to click this button here. This is the curve fit. So Logger Pro, look at Logger Pro's loads of different curves that you can try and fit onto it. I just want to fit a quadratic. So I'm going to click this quadratic and then I'm going to click Try Fit. Now when I click Try Fit, it gives me this and it gives me A, B, C and that's for AX squared plus BX plus C. So see this, look, that's a good example of poor mathematical notation. But this is Logger Pro. It's not trying to sh have good notation, but you're going, to get, you're going to make it into good notation. Okay, so... That's that's my quadratic. Let me go back to uh, to write it. So a is minus zero point three one three three. So a equals negative zero point three one three three. B is one point one nine eight. B is one point one nine eight, and C is two point. 137. C is 2.137. So my function now is y equals negative 0.3133x squared plus 1.198x plus 2.137. Now you can talk about significant figures and decimal places and whatever that means. Um, but that's my function and that's just what I wanted to show you in this lesson. In the next lesson I'm going to take this function and show you um, different ways we can analyze it using using calculus and just our knowledge of quadratics to find like maximums, find uh, angles like launch angle. At what angle is it is it reaching the basket? And then we can talk about how you can what you can do with that in an IA, like compare it to someone else's, or how could you improve your shot by looking at that quadratic. Okay, hope that was helpful. I'll see you in the next lesson.